Kiza Chiraga is a busy trader in Kampala who has no time to go to the bank. He instead relies on mobile money agents to complete his transactions on time. Chiraga is a businessman who closed his bank account and resorted to using his phone to carry out mobile money transactions. Echama zima kati minimu jangu jikoli lako simu. Ida nze ne bank account yange na jigala ulue nsonga. Tambula ne bank yange monsawo. Pose simu yange wajibi. Atene wajibi. Sente pajia zifu na kubanga zima nyipi ni kodi yayo. On a single day like this, many more Ugandans stand at the ATM just like you can see just right behind me, waiting to enter inside and withdraw cash or sometimes send it. However, other Ugandans are thinking of this mobile phone which has made banking much more easier. They can be able to withdraw and send money much more quickly, much more conveniently and much more faster. Many Ugandans have embraced mobile money with lots of enthusiasm. The banking industry has been affected by this new trend. The number of accounts in commercial banks in Uganda are about 6 million. Okay? And the figure has been more, of, more, more or less constant over the last five years or so. Yet with mobile money, as we've pointed out, the, the number of accounts is growing at a significant rate. Uh, it's now like 21 million. The increase in the number of people using phones for mobile banking is quite telling of the future of jobs in the industry. Wilbrod Awar, the executive director of the Uganda Bankers Association, foresees a sharp drop in the number of bank tailors as technology takes over the mobile industry. The actual job of a teller will reduce, 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 reduce. But it also depends on the literacy level of the country. But over the long term, yes, I agree with you. Some corporations like Umeme Limited have closed all cash points, which rendered many cashiers jobless. But on the flip side, the new technology has eased transactions. Owar, however, says the mobile money industry is not here to substitute banks, but to rather complement them. But we are talking about financial services and access to services for more and more of the population, particularly in the hard-to-reach areas where previously commercial banks and other financial institutions had previously not reached. A recent working paper commissioned by Bank of Uganda indicates that mobile money has a significant positive long-run association with the private sector credit growth. But Chinji says the Financial Act will be amended to introduce agency banking that will incorporate phone transactions and protect over 21 million users of mobile money services in the country. All these are very important because they will provide a basis or foundation for putting into place um, a national payment systems regulatory framework. The future of mobile money looks brighter in Uganda given the rapidly changing technological innovations. Statistics from Bank of Uganda show that mobile money penetration in sub-Saharan Africa was at its highest in the world at 82%. Europe and Asia have the lowest penetration at 30%. Andrew Adinitwe, NTV, Kampala.